Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. Today, from mathematics subject, playing with the numbers, topic we are going to learn. <coughs> playing with the numbers. So here children. <coughs> One minute. Simplification of numerical expressions. Uh, before playing with the numbers topic, we have completed two chapters. So, one is uh, knowing our numbers, and uh, second one is whole numbers. The two chapters we have finished already here. Uh, in playing with the numbers, relating to numbers, some more concepts we are going to learn. So here, uh, simplification of numerical expressions. Suppose uh, the teacher asked her pupils in the class. Here you can observe two students. First student name is uh, Pratiba and uh, second student name is Neha. So the teacher asked her pupils, means students in the class, to simplify the expression 8 into 10 divided by 5. What is the expression? 8 into 10 divided by 5 minus 3. This question is given to the pupils. So here, here, this Prathiba, this girl, first girl, so worked out an answer and she gave 40 as the answer. Whereas Neha, second girl, given 13 as the answer. So here, this girl, what she has done? 8 into 10, 80. Multiply it first. So then, 5 divided by 10, sorry, 5 minus 3, 2. 5 minus 3, 2. This difference has done. First multiplication done. Then difference here, difference done. Then division. 80 divided by 2, 40. According to her, she is correct. Multiplication, 8, 10 times 80, correct. 5 minus 3, 2, correct. 80 divided by 2, 40, also correct. According to this girl, 40 is the correct answer. But same question, this girl, how she has done? First, she had she has performed division, 10 divided by 5. How much? 2. So then she has done multiplication, 8, 2 times, 16, minus 3. How much? 13. 13. Okay, this girl, not 7. Not 7. She told, she gave the answer as 13. 13. Means, this this kind of operations, this kind of operations leading to a kind of confusion. This kind of operations, they are leading to a kind of confusion. Which operation to be done first? If we have multiplication, division, subtraction and addition. If we have so many operations together, then which operation to be done first? Regarding that, there will be a confusion. So, but mathematic or mass is a subject, subject which avoids ambiguity, which avoids ambiguity, which avoids ambiguity means confusion. Because in mathematics, for every question, there will be a definite answer and there will be a unique answer. There will be a definite answer and there will be a unique answer. Unique answer. So, if we have like this, if we have multiple operations, so then how to perform these operations? Let us discuss with this rule. So, to avoid confusion in situations like this, like this, so mathematicians, they have framed some rules for simplification of numerical expressions 
involving two or more operations. So according to this, so whenever we come across so many operations at a time, so then we have to apply DMAS rule, DMAS, DMAS rule we have to apply. According to this, D stands for division, division to be done first, then multiplication, so then addition, last subtraction, like this, division we have to do, next multiplication, next addition, next subtraction. Like this, if we perform the mathematical operations, then our answer will be correct. Then our answer will be correct. So here, this girl, Pratibha, what she has done? First girl has done multiplication first. 8, 10 times first. 8, 10 times 80. Division is there, but she has done multiplication first. So she is wrong. But what about this Neha? 10 divided by 5. 10 5 times, uh, sorry, 5 2 times 10, 2 she, she has got. Again, 8 2 times 16, multiplication she has done. First division she has done, next multiplication, next subtraction. So, this girl gave the right answer. Okay. So, numbers are same, operations are same, but the way of doing the operation is different. First, which operation to be done, that is very, very, very important. If uh, without following this DMAS rule, if you simplify the, simplify the answers, the answers will be wrong. So before division, if you perform multiplication first, then if you do division, it will be wrong. According to this DMAS rule, division only you have to do first. Okay. Let's see some examples regarding this. Simplify. Simplify. 4 into 7 minus 14 divided by 2. So, 4 into 7 minus 14 divided by 2. First, we have multiplication, we have subtraction, we have division. So, according to DMAS rule, which to be done first? Division to be done first. Means, 4 into 7, we will keep like that only, minus 14 divided by 2. How much? 7. 14 divided by 2, how much? 7. Okay. Next, multiplication is there, subtraction is there. Which we have to do first? Multiplication. 4, 7 times. 28 minus 7. That equals to 21 is the correct answer. 21 is the correct answer. Next, second question. 24 minus 6 into 2 plus 4 minus 6 divided by 3. We have so many operations. One division, one subtraction, addition, multiplication, another subtraction. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 mathematical operations. Which one we have to do first? Division. Division we have to do first. Means here 24 minus 6 into 2 plus 4 minus 6 divided by 3 gives 2. Next, we have subtraction, multiplication, addition. So, multiplication first. 6, 2 times 12. So, 24 minus 12 plus 4 minus 2. Next, addition, subtraction. What first? Which one first we have to do? Addition. Which one we have to do first do? Addition. Means 24. It is having plus symbol. Plus 4 is having plus symbol. Two plus symbols we have to add together. 24 plus 4, 28. 24 plus 4, 28. Next, minus 12, minus 2. All minus numbers to be added together. Minus 12, minus 2. So, minus 12, minus 2, minus 14. So, plus numbers. 24 plus 4, 28. We write here. Minus 12, minus 2, minus 14. You can write here. 20, 28 minus 14, 14 is the right answer. So, like that. Whenever we have more mathematical operations, we have to apply DMAS rule. 
for simplification. For what? Why we have to apply rule, this Dimas rule for simplification of given numerical expression. For simplification of given numerical expression. Because we do not have equal to 0. If we have equal to 0, this is called equation. No need to simplify. Answer is 0. Now, they have not given equal to 0. So, this is only an expression. Next. Simplify. Simplify 35 divided by 7 into 3 plus 4 minus 13. So, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. Division first. Division first. 7, 5 times 35. Division, because of division, we are getting 5 here. Next, into 3 plus 4 minus 11. Carried as it is. Next, multiplication, addition, subtraction. Multiplication first. 5, 3 times 15. Plus 4 minus 11. Next, plus minus. So, addition first. 19 minus 11. 8. First, division is performed. Next, multiplication. Next, addition. Next, subtraction. Next line. So, if along with fundamental operations into along with fundamental operations like uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, if you have brackets also, if you have brackets also, like this are small brackets or big brackets, if you have brackets also, here bracket is also considered as one kind of mathematical operation. Along with this, if we have brackets also, what we have to do? We have to do the calculations with the brackets first. With brackets first. Means the numbers which are inside the bracket to be simplified first. So then D mass rule. Then D mass rule. So not only brackets, we have uh, like operation of of 4 of 5. Sometimes in mathematical problems, we come across situations like this, 4 of 5. So, means along with the bracket, if we have of also, so then after the brackets, we have to perform that of operation. Here, O of of also one kind of mathematical operation. So, we know about plus minus into division. These are four math mathematical operations. Along with that, we have brackets and we have of. This B and O also one kind of, some kinds of mathematical operations. Okay. Uh, we use some of, uh, this word of we will use while expressing the words twice of, one fifth of, eight percent of. Means of also. Suppose four of five. 4 of 5 means 4 into 5. Of also indirectly represents multiplication. Of also represents multiplication. Even bracket also represents multiplication. Means if bracket outside, if we have a number, what does it mean? With the outside number, we have to <coughs> multiply the inside values. We have to multiply the inside values. So, bracket also one kind of multiplication. Of also one kind of multiplication. Okay. So, like this triangle, like this triangle, first, uh, first, uh, how, what is the order means? First bracket will come, next off will come, next division into plus minus. So, this new rule is called, this uh, new rule is called, previously what we told about D mass rule, for this DMAS means division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. For this DMAS rule, they have added two more operations, brackets of DMAS. It is, will be, it is called as board mass rule. They have mathematicians framed new rule for simplifying the mathematical expression, expressions. They have added brackets and off to the DMAS rule. According to this, B stands for brackets, O stands for OFF, 
D stands for division, M stands for multiplication, A stands for addition, S stands for subtraction. Means before multiplication, before division, the bracket operation and off operation to be performed. Then DMOS rule we have to apply. Then DMOS rule we have to apply. Next run. Let us see some examples. 75 divided by 3 equals to 5. Sorry. Sorry. One minute. One minute. Run. 75 divided by 3 of 5 means 3 of 5. 3 of 5 means 3 into 5. 3 of 5 means 3 into 5. Again, you should not write like this. 75 divided by 3 of 5 means 3 into 5. Now, division first, multiplication next. Like that will come. You should not do like this. So, 75 divided by 3 of 5 means 3, 5 times 15. You have to mention its value. Again, you should not write 3 into 5. So, 3 of 5, 3, 5 times 15. 75 divided by 15. 15, 5 times 5. 15, 5 times 75. So, 5 is the answer. Next. Here, what they have given? 90 divided by 3 of 5 into 2. Here, 90 divided by 3 of 5 into 2. Division of multiplication. So, of to be done first. 3 of 5. 90 divided by 3 of 5 is 15 into 2. So, this of operation we have done. Next, division, multiplication. Division to be done first. 90 divided by 15, 6 into 2. That equal to 12 is the answer. Next. 81 divided by 3. 81 divided by 3 of 2 plus 7 into 5 of 2 plus 7 into 5 of 6 into 5 of 6. Here also we have of, here also we have of, but in this of again bracket is there. In this of again we have bracket operation. So, what we have to do first? Bracket first. 81 divided by 3 bracket. 2 plus 7 means 3 of 9 into 5 of 6. So, here also we have of, here also we have of. That of operation to be done first. 3 of 9 means 3 9 times 27 into 5 of 6 means 5 6 times 30. Next. Division, multiplication. Division first. 81 divided by 27. 27 3 times 81 into 30. 3 into 30. How much? 90 is the correct answer. 90 is the correct answer. So, 90 is the correct answer. Like that, we can simplify with the help of B O D M A S rule, board mass rule. We can simplify with the help of board mass rule. Next, types of brackets. Types of brackets. So, we may, we will make use of small brackets. They are called parenthesis P A R A N T H E S E S parenthesis or we can call them as circular brackets or small brackets. Small brackets. These brackets we will make use of these brackets or sometimes we will make use of flower braces. Flower braces. Flower braces means like this. Flower braces or sometimes we will make use of big brackets or rectangular brackets. 
big bracket, sorry, square brackets, square brackets. S Q U A R E square brackets. Sometimes we make use of square brackets. Okay, and also we make use of one symbol like bar, which is called vincurum. Uh, vincurum. Uh, we 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 will make use of that bar. It is also acts like a bracket. It also acts like a bracket. Okay. So altogether, how many brackets we will make use of? One minute. One minute, children. Suppose if you take this example, one minute. So here we make use of small brackets, flower braces, square brackets or uh, big brackets. We make use of bar, small brackets, also called as circular brackets or parentheses. Small brackets means seven into. 3 plus 4, 7 into 3 plus 4, 7 into 3 plus 4, uh, or 5 minus, 5 minus big bracket, 7 into, sorry, flower bracket, 7 into 3 plus 4. Already if we have small brackets, so then along with that we have some more terms which we have to keep in brackets, then we will make use of flower brackets or for this entire expression 4 plus 5 minus flower braces 7 into 3 plus 4. Suppose this total if I have to keep in brackets, so already small brackets we have used, already flower brackets we have used, so then we can make use of big brackets, we can make use of big brackets like this. First, smaller brackets, we will, we will make use of smaller brackets, if there is this necessary, flower braces, if there is still necessary, square brackets, like this we will make use of them. So here, vinculum means, vinculum means suppose 5 into 3 plus 1 bar, 5 into 3 plus 1 bar, it indirectly means that 5 bracket 3 plus 1, because this vinculum also one kind of multiplication only, we can replace this vinculum by bracket. So, 5 into 3 plus 1, like that also we can write. Next. Okay, children, we will continue the topic in next video. Thank you for watching our video, children. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates. Thank you. Have a good day.